Let's find jeans for the kibby types. I know, I know the Strictly kibbyists are shaking in their boots and wagging their fingers at me and saying, jeans are not part of every ID. As far as I know, David Kibbe only mentions jeans for one type in the book, and that is the pure natural. And guess what? He removed the pure natural. So what do we do? Are jeans not part of the system anymore? That's ridiculous. Jeans have to be part of your everyday fashion. The Kibbe system is all about embracing your yin yang balance and wearing the best clothes for your body type and finding like an image identity. And to say that jeans aren't part of that for modern day fashion would be insane. So we're gonna go through and take what Kibbe says and try to translate that into jeans for each ID. So let's get going. First up, we have the dramatics. Now the dramatics, you're gonna notice that I have a straight leg, moderate to heavyweight stiff denim. It's not flouncy, it's not frilly, it has that yang essence. I would prefer the jeans to be a little bit darker and a little less gray to them. So the all black or tonal look creates a strong vertical line. You'll see that there's sharp edges to the outfit and it really honors the dramatics yang essence. So notice there's no visual break from my shoes to pants and it creates that long vertical line all the way down to the floor. For soft dramatics, I actually chose flares because I think that they both honor the verticality of the soft dramatic and the curves. Although Kibbe doesn't mention flares in the book itself, I think that these have been known widely through the internet to be very flattering for the soft dramatic. And you can see here that I kept the tonal look, so we have both dark blues here. And the blouse, while it's not a casual blouse, I still think it works for the diva chic essence of the soft dramatic. And you'll notice the shoes. The shoes for both the dramatics and the soft dramatics don't break up the line. They're pointed, they're angular, and they kind of hide beneath the trouser or jean. So with the flamboyant naturals, I think you could also do mom jeans, but for this example, I'm gonna do these asymmetrical A-gold jeans because I think the asymmetry really works with the flamboyant natural. And they kind of have a roomy feel, which is very, you know, free spirit chic. I think free spirit chic just means relaxed, easygoing, effortless. Now let's look at the jeans. They're kind of a dirty wash. They look very natural. Soft edged blouse with an open neckline, soft detail, nothing feels too sharp. So now we have the pure natural, the one that you can actually wear jeans with. And they're described as girl next door chic. And you can see here, I have some straight leg jeans that are very easy going, but I've also paired them with a kind of textured blouse. It has simple tailored lines that speak to the natural family and doesn't overwhelm their frame, but it also accommodates the width of the natural family. And the naturals are just the lucky family that get to pretty much wear any style of pants, including jeans. So now we have the soft natural, which is fresh and sensual lady. And she has that natural bluntness and width, but then she has a little bit more yin to it. So everything's gonna get a little bit soft. Okay, so Kibi recommends wearing feminine flats for the soft natural, but I think in today's society, we can add sneakers into the mix as well. And I think that totally fits the bill for a fresh and sensual lady in the modern day. As we know, the mom jeans already work for the natural family and these ones especially work for the soft natural. You can see the denim is kind of like lightweight so it doesn't overwhelm the soft natural frame. The blouse is slightly billowy, slightly draped, but it still has a little bit of structure to accommodate that with. Overall, this outfit feels softer than the other two naturals. Okay, now we're getting into the classic family and I just want a disclaimer that classic outfits tend to make me look very flat. There's just something about my essence with the flamboyant natural that classic outfits are very boring on me. So don't judge them too much by that. So the dramatic classic is tailored chic. It's all about elegant fabric, sleek lines, and some yang essence. Like, and you can see the jeans, I would actually prefer them to be just a smidge more fitted in the hip area. But again, we're working with my closet and I think these are a pretty good match. The denim is darker and it's very even. There's no wear marks or ornate details. The shirt is elegant and tailored. It has crisp details and sharp edges, all working for the dramatic classic. Okay, now we have the pure classic and you're gonna say, well, that's not too different from the dramatic classic. And you're probably right. There's not a lot of difference, which it maybe is why Kibby removed the pure classic. That's a discussion for another day. I don't think he should have done it. Pure classic, now our pants are slightly more fitted and they're a medium wash. They're very moderate. They're not long, they're not cropped, they're not skinny, they're not baggy. They're right in the middle. They're gonna honor that moderation that the classics are known for. This is actually a different shirt than the dramatic classic. Now let's compare the two. Now the dramatic classic has that extra yang, which is why I chose a shirt that has extra yang. It's a little bit sharper, it's a little crisper. The details are there, they're streamlined. Now the classic, we've got these little pearl buttons that add a little bit more femininity to it, and the texture is a little bit softer than the, the dramatic classic blouse. But overall, the classic is sophisticated ladies. So we have moderation, we have balance, and we have a put together look. 
Okay, now we're moving on to the soft classic, and the soft classic is going to be that classic essence, but it's going to have a little bit more yin to it. Now, these jeans might be a little skinny for the soft classic, but I think they still work. Honestly, I think skinny jeans work for most of the IDs, but it kind of depends how you style them and what you pair them together with. So would I prefer a slightly looser jean? Maybe, but I still think the skinny jean works with this, especially paired with that soft blouse. Now, you, you may be looking at the blouse and being like, well, that asymmetrical neckline seems a little sharp, Gabby. You'd be right, it is, but look at the fabric. Look at the seam lines, look at how things drape but it still has enough tailoring to feel classic. Okay, the flamboyant gamine, we have this combo yin yang with a yang essence. So we want to reflect that. The jeans for the gamines are gonna be a lot of skinny jeans and a lot of cropped jeans. And for the flamboyant gamine, I chose these gray cropped jeans that I paired with some chunky loafers. And I think that gives that like contrast and separate and staccato look that the flamboyant gamines are known for. And then the shirt, I chose this asymmetrical kind of boxy shirt, but you'll notice that the neckline, the shoulder line, and the sleeves all have some sharpness to them, which is that yang influence. I think the pocket detail on these jeans are also very demean because they add kind of another level of interest. They're still square and sharp, but they add an interest level that stops your eye. And with the gamines, you really want those horizontal lines that kind of break up the look. We don't honor the vertical. Okay, now we move on to the pure gamine, which again, isn't in the system anymore apparently, but I'm including it because I think it should have stayed there. They are combo yin yang. And for this, we want a sharply tailored, animated, but fitted pair of jeans. So you'll see here that I have a pair of skinny jeans that are cropped. The chunky shoes really work well for the gamine. You can see them here. And with the shirt, it's cropped, it's boxy. The plaid is probably not super gamine necessarily, but I still think it works for the essence of the gamine. My posture is so bad. Every video I say I'm gonna sit up straight and then I don't. Okay, so now we're moving on to the soft gamine. So we have this combo yin yang that we've been seeing, but we've been seeing a lot of sharpness. And here with the soft gamine, we're gonna get a little bit more yin into the influence. So we're gonna get a little softer edge. We still want those horizontal lines and those breaks within the outfit, but we want everything to be a little bit rounder. So here with this blouse, it's a little sheer, which fits the fabric, lightweight to moderate fabrics for the soft gamine. We kind of got this flouncy sleeve, but it's fitted at the end. We always want tapered edges with the soft gamine, and this definitely works. Even with the neckline, it's a little high, but because it has this cute little bow, it fits that spit or chic very well. Skinny jeans are known for the gamines. You can do them super skinny. I rolled them up a little bit to crop them further. Now for this outfit, I could have added more contrast between the two pieces, but again, we're working with my wardrobe. If I was to go out and purchase this outfit, I would get jeans that are either a little bit lighter or a little bit darker to have a little bit more contrast between the two pieces. Okay, the theatrical romantics, femme fatale chic, and the romantics are not known for their casual wear, so we have to get creative. Here you can see I have a very theatrical romantic blouse. It has this like corset style with these poof sleeves. It's a little over the top, a little extravagant. The print is very on point for the theatrical romantic. With a theatrical romantic for jeans, you wanna show off your hourglass. So you could absolutely do a cropped skinny jean, but a cropped jean that hugs your curves in the right places are great. You can see here I did a lighter denim jean because I think that meshes well with the colors suggested for the theatrical romantic. But you can see that these jeans, because they're mid to high rise, really hug my hip curves and they even make me look like I have a little bit of curves, especially when paired with that kind of corset style blouse. Now the hem of these jeans is above the ankle, which is good for the theatrical romantic. Could the hem be a little bit more tapered in? Yes, absolutely. But I still think these would work for a theatrical romantic well. So now everyone wants to give the romantic skinny jeans and I'm not against that. I think that romantics can look very good in skinny jeans. But if you actually look at what the text says for romantics, it says that your pants should be soft, draped, and show off your luscious curves. That paired with the feminine flap and the puff sleeve blouse, I think makes a great romantic outfit. Now, for this outfit, I will mention that it would be great if I had a softer neckline and if the print was a little bit more intricate. Because the print is stark and there's a square neckline, there's a little bit too much yang in that blouse to be a perfect for the pure romantic, but you get the silhouette. Okay, so I tried to take each of the IED's essence and yin yang balance and apply them to casual outfits. Now, is every one of these outfits made to go run errands? Probably not, but that's okay. Not every ID is built for super casual clothes if you want to follow the strictly kibby guidelines. I personally believe that you find your balance. You find which what pieces look good on you and then you translate them into casual clothes. And not every outfit in today's fashion needs to be the perfect balance. Now I think where Kibby loses a lot of people 
is he says, this doesn't look good on this type. Avoid this at all costs. For instance, in the flamboyant natural, a lot of the pieces that I wear on a regular basis, he would say to avoid. Because I have a romantic essence, I love pieces like this and like this. And you can see that those don't really speak to the flamboyant natural. They're definitely not free spirit chic, but I think they look good on me. And that's okay that I, I embrace these looks. In today's fashion, we don't always need to look perfect or balanced or ideal. Sometimes when you have like dichotomous fashion, it just looks cool and we like that. Go ahead and drop in the comments which outfit you thought looked best on me. You're gonna see that, yeah, there are some people who think the flamboyant natural looks the best on me, but then there are some people who find soft gamine the best or theatrical romantic, and those ideas have nothing to do with each other. So don't forget that your personal style is about you and what you feel good in and what you resonate with, because everyone's gonna have a different interpretation of your style, and following every Kimmy guideline there is out there is gonna drive you crazy. So just remember that it's okay in 2022 to have disjointed fashion. It's okay to say, you know, I wanna dress steampunk today, or I wanna dress like, you know, Malibu Barbie today, but I'm not a romantic. That's fine. If you want a more modern take on Kibby and you liked my video, go ahead and subscribe because I'll probably be doing more of these. If you have any ideas for the next video, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. God, I need to sit up straighter.